The hidden technique, my friends, that'll take you from zero to hero. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> talked many times about the difference between pros and amateurs and one of the greatest things that pros do is conserve energy. It's not that they're lazy, it's that they understand when they can make a difference. Our friend Messi does this tremendously. You can look at many, many clips of him walking around the field looking as if he's completely uninterested in the game. Is he even here? Is he on some alien planet? Are they just, is his consciousness not even around? And then boom, before you know it, the ball is in the back of the net. Why does this work? Well, this works for a number of reasons. We already told you he's conserving energy, which means that when he's ready to go, he can put all his energy on scoring the goal. That's the 80-20 principle right there. We don't need Messi to defend. We need Messi to score, right? So if you're a striker or if you're a player that scores a lot of goals, make sure you're conserving your energy for that specific point. The next, what element of surprise? No one is concerned about this guy. How is it possible that he's just standing over there and then two seconds later, he's right next to the goal? You can use this too. In order to do it though, you cannot be walking at times where you should be in better position. You'll notice when Messi realizes something is happening, he immediately starts to jog. The jog turns into a sprint and then it turns into, you better give me this ball or I'm gonna bite your head off. All right, he gets it and then he does the rest of his work. You can do it too, use it wisely. Now, you're probably wondering, where else can we go with this? Well, this principle has a wider spray out in other parts of the game, exactly like 1v1, where you do not want the other player to know what you are doing. You do not want him to be scared. If he understands you're gonna take off and explode, he's going to prepare for it. The same thing follows with this principle, right? So you can see this in 1v1, where you slowly, slowly get up to the player, and then you change direction. You can see it from Messi, because he's been our model for this video, he dribbles up the players slowly, getting them to lull themselves to sleep, and then the second he's ready, boom, he's gone, right? The change of pace is your friend. This is the other thing that's gonna take you from being a player who's just constantly running around, not understanding. You can do this without skills, without true speed. You have to be able, though, to lull the defender to sleep. Slow, fast, slow, 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 fast. And from there, we're gonna show you exactly what you can do when the game is stuck and you don't know how to make a difference. Now what happens when the game is stuck? What do you do to change it? Most players are gonna run around crazy, with their heads cut off, they're gonna stand next to the goal, they're gonna tell people to kick the ball in the box, just go and kick it. What do some of the best do? They decide to take things into their own hands, but they don't do it in a way that makes the other team understand what's happening. Take Neymar's goal in the World Cup against Croatia. Croatia has built a literal bus wall. There is a brick wall in front of the goal, nothing is happening. Neymar decides, you know what? I'm gonna go way back to midfield to get the ball because this is a principle from the olden days, my friends. Back in the days when the number 10 would have to control the game and control, he would go and get the ball off the center back to start the attack. This was the old days. Now, we have different players. We have different plays for this type of stuff, but it still works. Going back slowly to go get the ball shows no threat. Now, what happens and what can you do from there? He goes back to get the ball and within two passes, he's inside the box and he puts the ball in the back of the net. Why? because first, he showed no threat. We already talked about this. The next, good change of pace. He makes that first pass, he realizes I can get it back. Makes another pass and keeps going. Before you know it, the ball is in the back of the net, just like we talked about. If you wanna utilize this, remember all of the things that we have talked about, because you cannot do it without them. This is a cheat code, my friends, just like the cheat code of this knuckleball right here. Ooh. That's the vid, my friends. Leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out everything from us here at Unisport. Playlists, gear, we got it all. We will see you guys later. Peace out.